Hello, I'm glad that you joined me this evening. Today is Good Friday, the day in which we observe the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to read to you from the prophet Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, beginning at verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our inequities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the inequity of us all. As I was reflecting about today, and as I was praying about and giving thanks for how Jesus died on the cross for all of us, the sacrifices that he made that we might live, I began reflecting on those that are making sacrifices today. I was driving this morning and I drove by a couple grocery stores. I said a prayer for the grocery clerks and all that worked inside the store that put their life on the line, literally, by making sure we have the things that we need to be able to, to live more comfortably, even in this most difficult time. I began thinking about the first responders who get out and, and respond to the calls to go and to serve and to help those that are in need in our communities on the streets. And as I passed Temecula Valley Hospital, I said a prayer for all the doctors and the nurses, for all the medical staff, for the security and all that come in contact with those that make their way to the hospital. Some are infected by COVID-19 and we say a prayer for all of them. I say a prayer also for all that are doing the essential uh, jobs. I say a prayer for those that are working at the Home Depots and the Lowe's and, and the restaurants, that they are there so that we may still have those things that we want to use and need during the day. God made a sacrifice for us, as it says in the Gospel of John earlier in chapter 3. For God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son for us, that we might have life and have it eternally. And we see that now being lived out in the sacrifice of Christ. Today has been a dark and gloomy day, probably not unlike the day in which Christ was crucified. It's easy for us to, to feel down, to feel depressed, but let us also remember the joy that God gives to us because of the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus. I also want to, to share with you about the news that I hear about churches who feel the need that they have to meet on Easter, that it is their given right to do that. I would say that Jesus made the sacrifice so that we all might live. And there are so many in our communities and in the world that are making the sacrifice, some by choice, some not so much by choice, so that we might live. I pray that their sacrifice, their willingness to go to work, their willingness to serve is not in vain. It's not that we have to come together to celebrate the love of Christ, to be connected this is more like the first Easter, the first Good Friday. Those men and even women were scattered, were hiding. They didn't come out, they didn't come to the cross. There were only a few that were there. So let us do the right thing. Let us do what will help us heal. Let us do what will help us be able to come together. Whether it's weeks, uh, and we hope not and pray not months, but let us do the right thing, and we can still celebrate. And Easter will be a glorious day, and it'll be more like the first Easter than any other that we have celebrated. So as we think about the sacrifice of Christ on the cross, let us also say a prayer for all those that are making the sacrifices for us in our communities, in our stores, in the restaurants, in our hospitals, and on the streets. May God bless you this night, and may we give thanks for the sacrifice 
that has been made for us in Jesus Christ. I want to remind you on Sunday morning, Easter Sunday, to come to our Facebook page, the Temecula United Methodist Church, and celebrate Easter with us. Pass the word, share the invitation, have a watch party. There's no state boundaries, there's no country borders. You can invite anyone and everyone. Let this be a great and glorious day. We give God thanks. God bless you and God bless our world. Amen.